Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and welcome back to the latest Road to Gullum and Painting Challenge video, alright? So for this week's video, the challenge was to paint up a Captain model. One of the nicest looking models for or from Warhammer Conquest so far for the Ultramarines. Definitely he can be intimidating a bit to paint because there's so much extra detail on him compared to another Primaris Marine. But you know, I got through it, he's painted up, and stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll find out what I'm going to be painting for next week's video. It was going to be some more tactical marines, but I said screw that, I'm going to do something bigger. So stay tuned and we'll see what that is, and let's switch out and have a look at the captain model. Alright, so here he is, all finished, all done up. It was a bit of an effort to get this guy finished because I'm currently sick at the moment. And it was just, my nose is so congested and my head is all fuzzy. It was a bit of a struggle to get the last few bits on him done. But, you know, I worked through it, I got him done. I'm pretty happy how he turned out, you know, the gold looks okay. I'm just, I, at this point, I'm starting to get a little bit tired of painting blue. So, it's starting to become, I can start to feel the struggle a little bit now. But, you know... It's the, it's the Road to Gullman Painting Challenge. I have to pers persevere through it because I really want this whole project to turn out really well. But, you know, the big things with this guy was obviously his robe. And that I was a bit worried about because the red, side, the red side is fine. But it's the other side that had me worried a little bit. The kind of whitish cream. And one of the things that I have to remember, you don't always have to use a shade. Like, the inside of his robe is just, like, I think it was between two or three layers of rack art flesh, really watered down to get one, to get, like, a solid coat on it. And that was it, you know. I really didn't want to do much more than that because it would have messed it up. And it's perfect the way it is. I'm happy how the inside turned out. The outside was pretty simple as well. It was just my fist on red. With a slight shade just in the recesses of it and then the highlight of I think it's Wild Rider Red and it turned out good. I'm really happy. So obviously the blue was done the, the actually the I was gonna say the blue was done the way as the rest of them, but it's not. It's McCraig blue base and then a mixture of McCraig blue and Calgar blue and most of the higher parts of the armour and um, just to give them a brighter colour to stick out from the rest of the army. And then all the metal parts are done, you know, lead belcher, null and oil, uh, and then like a highlight after that. Uh, I usually keep the metal pretty standard. I've tried a few different techniques with maybe Drakenhof Nightshade instead of null and oil, but you just can't beat the lead belcher null and oil combination. It's uh, perfect. And then of course he has a lot more gold on him compared to a normal Primaris Marine, which is my, one of my new favourite combinations, uh, Retributor Armour. With a uh, shade in it and then highlighted with Liberator Gold. I absolutely love this combination. I'm going to be using it a lot in the future um, for any kind of gold colours. It really brings the gold colours to life. So, and then obviously the next thing, the thing that had me worried the most was the good old Power Sword. So, I was really wanting to do some mad effect on this, and sometimes you just have to do things how you normally do it instead of trying to do it exceptionally well if you know you can't really do it a certain way just stick with what you know and, I, and that's what i did so i worked out i layered a couple of blues from light to dark while they were still wet on the sword put a dragon half nightshade on it to really dry the whole lot of it and then you know good old dry brush of scar white very lightly around the edges and it just gives it that shine look and um, that surprisingly worked i was really dreading putting the dry brush on it because any slight mistake would have been too far one way you know it's too much white on it but i'm really happy how it turned out looking at it now and you know that's a technique that i'll probably keep using in the future from now on so it works and sometimes it's just better sticking with what you know instead of trying something that you're not a hundred percent confident with you know try things of course but you know don't be afraid to stick with what you know and then we have the base Let's see if I can get a better angle. Um, so what the basis, you know, with all other uh, models I did for this painting challenge is the cork base with the astronite granite on it. Grade, null and, wash, null and oil, shade, dry brushed up with the highlights to get it to pop. But this time I stuck on two skulls. It was just a skeleton warrior skull that I had hanging around on the desk and then 
an ogre or an orc skull that was in, it was like in a little drawer next to me so like let's just stick them on give them something else instead of just a plain flat looking base and a little bit of Nurgle's rot in the inside of it just to add something a little bit of extra texture so overall I'm happy with them I've said before you know he turned out pretty decent I'm happy so um yeah let me know what you guys think so that was the primaris cap the model make sure to let me know what you guys think and um, I think he turned out okay but um let me know what you guys think definitely in the comment section below I love getting a bit of feedback so as I said what am I going to be painting for next week's video I was going to paint up five more tactical marines in the word bear colors simply because I had five tactical marines from the Petrella Calc box and I was just they were based red so I was just going to paint the five of them up get them finished and out of the way but you know I'm kind of getting a little bit fed up with doing inventory models so I decided to change it to this guy now, this is the Dreadnought from the Betrayal of Calc box. I think in this whole painting challenge, so far, there's only two models that aren't like, just a normal infantry. We've like this Dreadnought and we've the big Dreadnought that's part of the Warhammer Conquest set. So, you know, it's, it's time to mix it up a bit and do something not completely different, but, you know, something that's not infantry. So I'm really looking forward to painting this guy up um, and the best thing about him is he has three different arms, one arm for his left and then two different arms for his right and I magnetized these um, when the first came out so I'm going to be painting all them arms up and then it's going to be awesome to be able to change them up. So um, let me know if you guys are looking forward to seeing that getting painted up and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this update video. We're still going strong with the Road to Gullum and Painting Challenge. Still a while to go on it, but you know, we're going to get through it. So, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next video.